This is a young male who presents for gradual onset altered mental status, hearing loss, and slowly progressive visual changes. On the axial proton density weighted images, there are subtle ovoid and linear hyperintense lesions centered within the white matter in the subcortical and deep white matter regions. Lesions extend to involve the corpus callosal body and are redemonstrated on the fluid sensitive T2 weighted images with corresponding diffusion restriction and flare hyperintense signal. Post contrast axial and coronal T1 weighted images demonstrate fate enhancement at the numerous sites of involvement in the supratentorial compartment. A differential diagnosis of demyelinating disorder such as multiple sclerosis and acute disseminated encephalomyelitis was given as well as vasculitis, catacil, and thromboembolic sequelae. Given the clinical history, SUSAC syndrome was also listed in the differential. This case went to open biopsy at which time a diagnosis of SUSAC syndrome was made. SUSAC syndrome consists of a clinical triad of acute to subacute encephalopathy including features such as memory impairment, confusion, behavioral disturbances, ataxia, dysarthria, paranoid psychosis, and headaches. There is also sensory neural hearing loss and visual changes secondary to retinal artery occlusion, leading to scotoma and visual distortions. Typical imaging features include multiple small lesions in the supratentorial compartment with typical involvement of the corpus callosum. Lesions demonstrate enhancement during the acute stage with T2 flare hyperintense signal. SUSAC syndrome is typically self-limited but may fluctuate over time.